Hi everyone, so in this video we are going to be writing our first program in the C programming language and what I have here is a sublime text which is a text editor but you can use um, any text editor that you want. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new file and let's just first save it and when I save this thing um, I'm going to name this something like first program dot C uh, don't forget the dot C extension um, your C program won't work without that so uh, let's just go ahead and save and the first thing that I need to write here is uh, an include statement um, so just bear with me for a while um, there's going to be some things in this program that you won't understand um, so once I do this I need to write int main and I just need a return 0 here so uh, this part of the code is something that you'll have to get used to for a while uh, by the time we end this series you'll be uh, able to understand every single uh, thing in here but till then you'll have to just uh, accept this for what it is and the first thing um, is that whatever we need our program to do we are supposed to write it inside this main function for now so um, as a first practice in programming we often uh, do a simple program where we just try to print uh, a message to the console and that message is typically a hello world message so that's what we're going to be doing here so the way to print things to the console in C is um, writing printf and then we need to enclose within double quotes whatever we need to write so I'm going to write hello world here and uh, you'll learn a lot about this printf function later uh, but for now just understand that this uh, is used to print uh, messages to the uh, to the terminal and let me just open my console now and here I can use ls to see what files I have and here I have my first program.c so uh, the way to actually run this program is uh, the first step that I need to do is um, write gcc uh, first program.c so uh, this gcc is a compilation command and it takes as an argument the name of the program so uh, with the extension don't forget the extension here so if I hit enter now um, it's taking some time but it's uh, the program has been compiled now and let me just do an ls again um, and as you can see I've also got an a.exe here uh, in case you're using a Linux based machine you'll have an a dot out uh, Linux uses a dot out extension for uh, binary executables and Windows uses a dot exe extension so uh, as you know I can actually uh, just go into this directory and run this a dot exe file uh, but what I can also do is just type a here and uh, hit enter to execute it and in a Linux machine you'll have to do something like dot slash a dot out that's for a Linux machine in my case I can just write a and hit enter and as you can see I just printed uh, hello world right here so uh, that's what we've done so far uh, congratulations you've actually written your first C program and uh, one thing that I like to mention here is uh, the name of this executable is a.exe which is not a very impressive name and you should actually never go with this uh, a.exe name what you should do instead is uh, use the gcc command um, with actually let me just first get rid of this a.exe um, that done uh, I can check that it's actually gone and now what you should be doing is writing gcc first program dot c 
and then you should use the dash o flag uh, just write dash o and then say first program dot exe and um, now if I hit enter what it does is uh, if I do ls now uh, it's actually again just created an executable but the name is uh, first program dot exe and not a dot exe so uh, this is just a good practice uh, to follow and uh, I hope you'll remember this this is actually very important and now if I just write first program and once again in case of a Linux machine you'll have to do dot slash first program dot out but for me I just need to write first program and if I hit enter it does the exact same thing uh, because it came from the same dot C file so uh, I think uh, I'll end this video here and in the next video we have uh, a lot to talk about so stay tuned for it.